yeah, as of 11 a.m., not a whole lot of change in terms of uh, where it's moving towards, towards the west-northwest at 16 miles an hour. It located right now 575 miles east-southeast of the northern Leeward Islands and max sustained winds of 40 miles an hour. As we look at the forecast cone and potential threat area, we are still seeing that that area shaded in yellow indicating tropical storm conditions likely staying well to the north and east of the northern Leeward Islands as Josephina's forecast to continue moving to the west northwest through the weekend late weekend early next week it'll likely be turning northwestward and weakening due to wind shear in fact depression likely by late sunday night into monday morning and then after that a remnant area of low pressure that could be bringing some wet and windy conditions to bermuda all depending on what happens and how it plays out but most of the models are just in agreement now that it'll move west northwest being steered by that ridge of high pressure over the atlantic and then move to the northwest northward and then likely a turn to the northeast so this could be what we often call a fish spinner which is mostly just out in the open ocean in terms of this satellite not looking too impressive because there's already a little bit of wind shear southwesterly wind shear that's beginning to impact it and we also have been noticing there's a lot of dryer surrounding it in addition to that there is another area of disturbed weather that we're watching here off the carolina coast which has a medium potential of development as it moves to the east northeast at least for now it is moving away from the U.S. coast, so it's not a concern for us, and it's expected to stay well to the south and east of the New England coastline.